to you by Pediatric Dental Group of Colorado, creating positive and rewarding dental visits for kids of all ages since 1977. All right, we are back with Julie Hammerstein, the author of Fat is Not a Four-Letter Word and also a lifestyle coach, and you do all kinds of good things for people as a certified nutritionist. You're going to tell moms how they can quickly jumpstart their workout as we head into spring and summer, yeah. and then how to feed their bodies before and after, because that can make a difference in how they're building muscle. Some I see some moms who work out all the time, and it's not having an impact because they're not feeding their body properly. Right. So tell them how to jumpstart, and then some snacks, and we'll hold them up for the camera that we have here in the studio. So I would say if you are not working out right now, and you're really looking for that way to break the ice, commit to 20 minutes. Right. Just start with 20 minutes. And if you can do that five days a week, you can fit that in. Yeah. Have it be a walk. Have it be Nia. Have it be Zumba. Have it be swimming. Have it be getting on your bike. But really it's or jazzercise or jazzercise. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. And I have friends whose bodies are transforming on jazzercise. Yeah. And it's fun. And, and find maybe a buddy to go do it. But just start small. But you have to start. You have to get out of the inertia. Right. Yeah. And that first step is what creates that movement to keep going. So maybe the first step is getting online and finding a class that you want to go try. Or that first step is just literally walking out the door and saying, I'm just going to go for 20 minutes. It's like the eight blocks. It truly will start that momentum. It'll work. And what should they eat? You've got some fun snacks here. What should they eat before they go? You really want to make sure you're having about 200 calories before a workout. How, how soon before? Ideally, again, if it could be 30 to 40 minutes beforehand, okay. that's fine. But, you know, and so if it's going to be prior to that, that would be more like a meal. But if you're just fueling up for the workout, something like a kind bar is great because you get a little bit of protein, plus you're getting some carbohydrates. You want that nice balance. Yeah. And that's about 200 calories and it's portable. And right? it's yummy. It's delicious, healthy and, bar. I and love it's it. quick energy. You want to, inf you want to get enough uh, f fuel into your muscles to fuel the workout. Anything else before we're gone? So you could even do something like um, that squeezable fruit or a little bit of, so something like that's real easy and you could have a handful of nuts. You handful could, of nuts. Yeah. Okay. You could do, um, I always look at something easy like a yogurt, uh, a Greek yogurt with a piece of fruit. Again, to 100 to 200 calories is really all you need. Yogurt with a piece of fruit. I'm holding that up. Yeah. Okay. A Greek yogurt, which you, which you have the zero percent kind right. of zero percent. And you fat. want your your carbohydrate content can, content to be a little bit higher before your workout. Okay. And then the protein content to be a little higher on the back end. So on the back end after your workout, you could do something like chips and hummus because you want a little bit of that salty and with the carbohydrates but you want the protein. So I love pop chips because you're also not getting a lot of fat. They have about a third less fat than your normal chip. Yeah, and they have zero saturated fats, zero trans fats. I love them. They're super delicious. And yeah. I, I like a couple of, I like their sea salt and I like their salt and pepper and I also like their sweet potato. Yeah. And they're just, you can't believe that they're not bad for you because they taste really good. Right, and a whole serving is 100 calories. So, but you know, you really want that protein, but it doesn't have to be a huge protein shake. People think you have to drink 25 grams of protein after a workout and you really only need about 12 to 15. Okay, quickly, what else do we have in here so for that's after a workout? So that's why I like these shakes. So you can try that. It's a smoothie. I make it with the Juice Plus Complete formula. You could find another protein powder that you like, but I like that one because it also has a fruit and vegetable blend. So you're having me drink this and yep. I'm drinking the French vanilla? Yep. So I put in strawberries, bananas, and a little bit of almond milk and the and the shake mix. Yummy. And There's so you could take that and just have it with you before or after. It tastes good and it feels like it's good for me. Yeah. Josh, Josh, there's one for here for you too, dear. You can there have you one can later. One. <laughs> uh, um, but so what you, you. want to remember is that it's not all about the macronutrients, it's not just about the carbohydrates and the protein. It's about the, the micronutrients. And in order for your body to repair yeah. and to go back and do it again the next day, you have to have antioxidants and phytonutrients from fruits and vegetables. Yeah, so, th it needs that to prepare. And it also needs um, some protein because that helps you re repair and rebuild your muscle. It, right? helps to, it helps to rebuild the muscle. But really what we're trying to do is not oxidize our muscle, right? which happens in exercise. And so then you need the antioxidants. Yes. And so like yes. the Annie Chun's, that's a nice miso soup. It's, it's portable. It's convenient. If you don't have something like that freshly prepared, something you could throw in your gym bag and it's got some tofu. You could even throw some extra spinach or vegetables in there. And that would be a great thing. Plus it has a little extra sodium for that salt loss that you might have had. Oh, great idea. Great right idea. Because workout. you need to replenish your salt. So mm -hmm. that's an Annie Chun soup bowl. Wonderful. So I think we're done with most of the snacks. Mm -hmm. Um, 
just reminding moms that they need to get their certain kinds of vitamins and nutrients Mm -hmm. and maybe a supplement. I know you believe in the Juice Plus supplement. um, Right. Something that can just rebuild and restore, make sure they're getting plenty of vitamin D. Yeah, so I love the Juice Plus just because, again, that fills the gap when you can't get all the fruits and vegetables in that you need. But I really recommend that people get their vitamin D levels checked, especially women. And if you're low in vitamin D, that's going to impact hormones and... Um, all of that. So you want to look for a good quality vitamin D3, which you can typically get at your natural food store. Okay. And quickly, we won't even do the music for it today, but I want you to be the one who gives our channel mom tip for busy moms today. Do you have a good tip while I'm drinking my protein shake? While you're drinking your lovely (laughs) shake. Hopefully you're not pretending you like it and Mm -hmm. you really do. (laughs) So you all... I do like it. You do. Okay, good. So you always (laughs) want something fresh on your plate. So whether you're doing the packaged foods, even the ones that I've shown or a pizza, or mac and cheese, or something that you're throwing together really quick for your family, always have something fresh on the plate. Even if it's, if it's cherry tomatoes, or some grapes, or some cantaloupe, or some baby carrots. Because that informs your body. You need that, that nutrition every single day. Yeah. That you might be lacking in some of your packaged foods, even though the packaged foods might be more natural. I hope you're, hopefully you're buying ones that don't have a lot of preservatives in them. But your body is informed by the nutrients and fruits and vegetables. Plus, just the simple act of doing that is, is that one small change that says, you know what, I'm doing something good for myself. Yeah. Simple, but I'm eating an apple. I mean, there's, there's a lot of power in that versus choosing chips. Yeah, and that could just click in to, to a, a new habit of taking care of yourself and taking care of your body. Yeah. Julie, we thank you. This is fabulous stuff. I can't wait to eat now. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> so Julie Hammerstein, law, author of Fat is Not a Four-Letter Word. We love her. We try to have her on at least once a month. And actually, we're going to have you on next week too, and I'm going to tell people about that in just a second. Thanks, Julie, for being with us. You're welcome. Thank you.